maybe you can tell the difference between a shirt and a cat. Good for you. Good for you. Hi slugs. It's me, Coco, back with another thrift with me, my second one. If you watched my first one, I'm sorry. It was my first one and the editing is kind of bad and I shot it vertically and I didn't know what I was doing and I still kind of don't. Um, but I'm learning and that's what it's all about, right? Like if I want to do it, I got to fuck up a few things along the way. Hey, and if you want to join me and fuck some shit up and figure it out, and I really appreciate that. That sounds awesome to me. So I'm going to go to AmVets. I don't know what we're looking for. We are just going because if I'm honest, it's been a shit ass week and I want to go to the thrift store alone and just see what I find. Hopefully I'll find some cool shit. I want to find some shoes. That'd be cool. Or... I don't know, something a little weird clown figurine, something to cheer me up. I'm going to just to find whatever, you know. So, um, if you want to come along with me, I'd appreciate it. I'd love that. And let's go. I live about 40 to 45 minutes away from Amvets, so it's going to be a little journey as is everywhere. I live in a very small town called Damascus, Virginia. So uh, anytime I leave, it is quite a little journey to get out. Whew. All right, we're going, we're going, we're getting out of here. Come on, cow, let's go. Okay, so here's what we're working with. Um, I don't know. We'll just try it on. We also have these two friends. <sighs> Shitty, but okay. Oh my god. Okay, it's hard to tell. But this is so cute. It's like a little lingerie top and it's, it goes down into a V shape. I don't know if you can tell. <gasps> it's very cute. I don't even know why I bothered, but you never fucking know. I like the print on this, but it's kind of, I don't like this. 
it was just a normal button up top. But alas, it is not. But it is a cool print. Oh well. What was I thinking? Okay, okay. It's a vintage little crop top. And I'm here for it. And I think it's only 99 cents, so. Okay, so I'm exhausted and I don't want to try these on. And I don't think I'm going to get them. But I wanted to show you because they're cool. This is like a fleece jacket with a built-in scarf. And I really like it. But I don't fucking need it. And then this is... Ugh. It's from Torrid, and I don't really think it's quite my vibe. And then this has been here forever, and I've almost bought it several times. It's um, Sag Harbor Woman. It is cute, but I don't know. It'll probably still be here next time, so. And I'm going to say no to these. And yes to these. to Ambets. I got a couple of things. It was great. I was the only person in there for like half of the time. I love being the only person in the thrift store. It's just oh, nothing beats it. Nothing beats it, man. Yeah, I'll show you what I got when I get home or maybe tomorrow if I'm too tired or whatever. Okay. Love you, slug. See you soon. Okay. Hi slugs, it's me, Coco. Um, I'm I. This is many days, weeks, years. No, it's not that long. It's been, I think, two weeks since I went to the thrift store, and it's been quite a long two weeks. We won't get into it, cause what else? But I'm gonna show you what I got and uh, end this video so that I can finish something and then get started on another something. Wow, imagine that. I don't feel like there's a lot of plus size people thrifting because I think you think you can't. And sure, it is harder. <laughs> I mean, but what isn't? Hey, hey, welcome to the Fat Club. Um, so 
whatever. I think it's fun. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm high, of course. I mean, look at my eyes. I was gonna smoke with you before, like I did in my first video. I wanted to continue the trend, but I did it. I forgot to film and then now I, I can't smoke more. I'm already rambling. That's fine. I always ramble. If you know me, you know. Sorry, I thought, did it make me look like I have a tiny mouth or a really big mouth or my mouth just is the same size? Where were we? The point is, I love thrifting ever, you know, like when I started driving, what year was it? 2005 and I was in like 10th grade. I used to skip school to go to the thrift store. And anyway, let's just talk about what I got. How about we just do that? That's a good plan. Okay, so, oh yes, I got this top. It's cute, I'm digging it. Not this jacket, this, but you know, cause you saw. Oh, I forgot the other thing that I got. Is that it? What is that? You ever just see something like, well, I have a black cat. If you have a black cat, you probably have this problem too, especially if you tend towards wearing black clothing, which I do. Uh, there will be some black clothing or shoes in the floor. And you're like, cat? Or is that what I'm looking for to wear? Do you have that problem? I don't know. Maybe you don't. Maybe you can tell the difference between a shirt and a cat. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna find the shirt. I'm gonna find the shirt. I found it. I'm like exhausted, honey. Honey, you don't even know what tired is until you've been me. Okay, I got this very cute lingerie top. It's in a size 3X. I'm trying to show you the bottom. It's pointy on the bottom. It is very cute. Oh, look at the um, star through it. Nice. And then it has these cute little sleeveys. Um, and it's like a scoop neck with a little, what is this? A, key, a keyhole? I don't know. It looks like a keyhole. And the tag is cute. It is Village Fair. Yeah. 3X. Made in the USA, honey. I can't wait to wear it. I wanted to say this tank top I got as well. And it is a 3X, I think it was, what was the, like, Star Choice was the tag, like the little 90s tag. And it's so cute, and it's crop top, and I'm really digging on it. That's the two clothing items I got. And then I got the curtains, and I got the hot pot. And I'll show you that now. Here are the curtains um, that I got. And I think they look really cute in that corner. I, um... I don't know if they're like not the right size for that window. I guess probably they're not, but I think it still looks cute and I'm cool with it. So don't come for me if these curt. I used to be a curtain expert at JCPenney somehow. And I don't, I, I don't know shit about curtains. I did not retain that knowledge. Also, I have the hot pot down here and my kitchen is kind of weird. It's um, small and this dryer is in a very strange place. I don't know, what can you do? And it's great, I love it, it's so cute. And it had never been used, it was still in the plastic. Um, but anyway, this is just like the corner of my kitchen where I put up those curtains, so I just wanted to show you. And it's a little chaotic probably, but so am I. I got some Halloween stuff. So I got just like nothing like spectacular. Just little cute things. So these ghost stakes, you can stick like down in a plant. 
And they were 99 cents and they've never been opened. And I thought I could stick them in the plants in my kitchen. And that will be cute. And then these little bags, um, they're like little paper bags. They've just never been opened. There's different ones in here, but you really can't see. I see a ghost on that one. They seem cute and I can do something with them. Who knows, something crafty or hopefully, I don't know. I don't know, they're bags, they're, I bought them. And I may or may not do something with them. And then the last thing I got, they're just these like cutting pumpkin supplies, cutting pumpkin supplies, pumpkin carving kit. This one was 99 cents and this one was 49 cents and they've never been opened. And you can always use more, you know, carving tools when you want to have your friends over and carve pumpkins. There's not, you know, there's never enough scoopies. There's never enough little knives. And now there might be, because that's what I want to do. I want to have everyone over and I want to carve pumpkins and I want to watch Halloween. That's what I like to do. Okay. I'm glad that I bought all of it. No regrets. No regrets. Some, some regrets, not with this, but no regrets with this. So, um, my plan for the future is to make a thrift with me video every two weeks to start with. So I don't get overwhelmed. And so if you want to come along with me on this journey at the thrift where I'm going to be regardless, I might as well take you with me and we can have a good time. This has been sufficiently awkward as always. And I'm gonna see you in two weeks and we're gonna go thrifting. And we're gonna have a good time. And I'm excited about it. And if you wanna join this slug cult, get on up in that subscribe button. It's not a cult. It's kind of a cult. It's not a cult. I don't know. Do you want it to be a cult? It's not a cult. Let's lug it up. Let's go thrifting. You know, let's do it. If you want to do it, I mean, not sexually, just go thrifting. If you want to do that with me, then let's go. We're going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're doing it. Thanks for being here. Um, Homes to ever you are. You're a slug now, if you made it to the end of this video. Them's the rules. You make it to the end of a video, you're an official slug. Official. Thank you for being here. Whoa. You're so beautiful and cool. And I hope you're having like a super good day. Do I sound like a weirdo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye.